Macro Programming Call Simput. The Simput routine can be used to interact with the macro facility during the execution of a data step. The routine allows the creation of macro variables based on values within a SAS dataset. Simput is a routine that you call inside a data step to produce a global macro variable. The variable cannot be referenced inside the data step it was created in. The data step must end with a run statement before you can reference the variable in your code. The value of the macro variable is assigned during the execution of the data step. So the general form of call simput, you start with the statement call simput, and then you have your macro variable name, followed by a comma, and the value that you want to attach to that macro variable name. Suppose you ran PROC means to compute the mean red blood cells for a group of patients and you wanted to compare individual patient values against the mean red blood cell value. So in this first bit of code, we are creating an output data set called means, and it consists of just one observation and one variable. And the one observation is the total mean RBC for this group of patients from the data set blood. So this output data set means is going to have one variable on it, m underscore RBC, which is the mean red blood cell count for this group of patients. And then we're going to create a new data set called data underscore null underscore. And this data set underscore null underscore is a way of creating a data set that's just used for processing observations. It's not used for creating a temporary SAS data set. So basically we're just processing this one observation set from the data set means. So here we have data underscore null underscore and we're bringing in the data set means which just has one observation and one variable. And then we're using this statement call simput to assign the value of m underscore rbc to a macro variable called avrbc. So this is a macro variable called avrbc, which is the mean red blood cell count of the observations in the data set blood. So we now have a global macro variable that we can use in a different data step and that global macro variable is called avrbc. The reason we can't use a percent %let statement to create this macro variable is we actually don't know the value of m underscore rbc. We haven't looked at any output. And so call simput allows us to transfer values between the data steps without actually having looked at the output ourselves. And then we are going to create a new data set called data new. We're going to bring in our original data set blood and we're going to calculate the percent red blood cell count which is equal to RBC which is in our data set blood divided by and here's where we're using our global macro variable avRBC. And again because it's a macro variable we start with an ampersand and then we're multiplying it times 100. So what we've done here is calculated the ratio of red blood cells for an individual to the average red blood cells of all the observations in our data set times 100. And what's interesting here is we never once looked at the output to determine what the actual average red blood cells were. We didn't have to figure out that number and put that number in this equation. We were able to do all of this communication between these data steps with the use of call simput, which created this global macro variable. So in summary, this statement created a macro variable 
named ampersand av rbc and it assigned it the value of m underscore rbc which was the mean value of the rbc's and then we could make use of this global macro variable in other data steps now view the sas demonstration video macro demo 2